Welcome to church and happy Thanksgiving Sunday. Guess what? We're already in the third month in year 2021. Welcome to the month of March. Wow. We're done with January, February, and now it's March. We want to thank the Almighty God for bringing us into this third month because God has been keeping us safe even from the pandemic, even from the coronavirus. Welcome to church, and I hope you're going to have a wonderful Sunday. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this day. We worship and adore you for making it possible for us to see the first Sunday in the month of March. We are so grateful. We are so thankful. And we are come with a hand of thanksgiving to say, Thank you, Lord. We give you praise even as we learn at your feet today. We ask that, Lord, you will give us garment of praise to worship you and will listen to your word and will be hearers and doers of your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want your amen to be loud and clear. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for making your amen loud and clear. Do you know what we're going to do next? We want to praise God. Yeah, we want to thank God. So whatever you are doing, put on your dancing shoes. Stand up. Because the songs we're going to be doing today is Ho Hosanna. Because it's the month that we'll be talking more about things that happened before Easter. So we want to sing the song O Hosanna. And we want to sing another song that says, He's, he got the whole world in his hands. So let us go dance. Remember, stand up, put on your dancing shoes, and remember to move your body. And we'll be right back to talk more about the word of God. Let's go and dance.
beautiful boys and girls. Did you dance? Did you see the dance? Did you listen to the song that says, Oh, Zana, and he's got an old word in his hands? Thank you for dancing and thank you for praising the Almighty God. We want to go to our memory verse today, which says, which is taken from Revelation 11 15b. Revelation 11 15b. Revelation 11 15b. And one of our friends will be helping us to take the memory verse. So let's listen to our friend and we'll be right back to read our Bible passage. Hello everybody, my name is Grace Tower. I'll tell you my memory verse. Revelation chapter 11 verse 15b. The kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord and his Christ. And it shall reign forever and ever. I'm going to go to our Bible text, which is taken from Matthew 21, 1 to 11. Matthew chapter 21, verse 1 to 11. But you know what? It's really long, but we're just going to take one passage from the Bible, which is verse 9. And it says, the crowd that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Are you wondering, teacher, what are we learning today? Are you thinking, what's the topic? What do we want to learn today? The topic says, Jesus is king forever. Jesus is king forever. You know, we have different kings in the world now. We have different kings, presidents, um, prime ministers. But what do they do? They have their own time. There will be people reigning in the country, in the states. But you know what? Jesus is not like that. Jesus reigns forever. He is king forever. So we want to watch a video and we want to know why is Jesus king forever? Yes, when we watch the video, we'll be back and we get to talk more about the story. Okay, let us watch and we'll be back to explain more. God bless you as you watch. The Holy Tales I'm a bookworm and live in this library. Did you know that the Bible is full of awesome stories? I am Freckles and this is Tubby. We are off to see Holy who tells us stories from the Bible every day. Why don't you come along with us? Hi kids. I didn't realize when I fell asleep. I was reading such a nice story from the Bible. Hi Holy. What story were you reading? Can you tell us? Of of course I can. All of you, gather around. I will tell you. Do you know what you have to do at the end? Yes, Holly. We have to answer a question correctly. Very good. And if you do, you might get some cookies from me. Yay! Today's story is about Jesus entering Jerusalem. On the first day of the Passover week, Jesus and his followers came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives on the way to Jerusalem. Jesus sent two of his followers before him. He said, Go to the village in front of you. I will follow soon. He also said, You will find a young donkey there tied up with its mother. Untie it and bring it back with you. If anyone asks, just say, The master needs it and will send it back soon. The followers did everything that Jesus said. They found the donkey and brought it to Jesus. 
they put their clothes on the donkey's back to make a comfortable seat for Jesus. No one had ever ridden the young donkey before, but it happily allowed Jesus to sit on its back. Jesus traveled into Jerusalem, not on a royal horse used in a war, but on a donkey. Prophet Zechariah had said long ago that the promised Savior was a king of peace, not war. People ran from their houses to the streets to welcome Jesus. They all showed their love to him. They spread their cloaks at his feet and shouted, Hosanna! 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 Happily praising God. So, did you enjoy the story? I loved it! That's great! Now, my question is, on what animal did Jesus ride into the town of Jerusalem? A horse! Do think before you answer, Gumbo dear. Me know. He rode a donkey! Yes, that is right. All of you deserve chocolates. Did you watch the video? Wow! And you wondering why we're watching this video? Because Easter is coming very soon. Next month is Easter. But we want to talk about what happened before Jesus was crucified. So you know what happened? That was... They call it the triumphant entry of Jesus. How Jesus rode on that donkey. You see when Jesus told his disciples, please go bring that donkey and tell them it's the master that needs the donkey. What happened? They gave it to the disciples and they brought it to Jesus. Why did they give it to them? Because Jesus is king. And when the king asks for something, you have to give it to him. And when Jesus rode on the donkey, it was the first time that he rode on the donkey. What happened? People were shouting, Hosanna to the king. Who is the king? Jesus. And they started putting things on the floor for him to come. They put their clothes. They put leaves. They put palm fronds for Jesus to walk on. Remember when you go to a party, they say red carpet. So that's more like what happened to Jesus. They had to put different things on the floor. So Jesus doesn't have to ride on the, on the floor or on the sand. So he rode on their clothes. He rode on the, on, on the, on the leaves and the trees, that the palm fronds that they put on the floor. Jesus is reigning forever. Not for only that day, but he is also in heaven. He is still the king of our lives today. So what are we learning today? We want to learn today that Jesus is king forever. Not only one day, not only one month, not only one year, but forever and ever. That's why we need to make Jesus the king of our lives so that he can take full control of our lives. We are wonderful children. We need to always abide and do the things that are right that Jesus has told us to do. I'm really happy you came to church today to learn that Jesus is king forever. And I'm also glad that I'm talking to you that Jesus is king forever. We have one more memory verse. Our friend is also going to take the memory verse so we can remember. So the memory verse again is... Hello, everybody. My name is Praise Tyro. I will tell you my memory verse. Revelation chapter 11, verse 15 B. The kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord and His Christ and it shall reign forever and ever. Thank you for listening to the memory verse one more time. Remember, we have coloring page that you need to color. We want to see how those people, those men, those women, those boys, those girls, how they put those palm front and clothes on the floor. So we need to tell mommy, we need to tell daddy, I want to color. How Jesus rode on the donkey into Jerusalem. God bless you as you do the coloring pages. I will see you next week. 
let us pray father we thank you today for helping us to learn your word today we ask that you will always remain king in our lives and will be wonderful boys and girls in jesus mighty name we pray amen god bless you thank you for coming to church and remember god loves you and i love you too remain blessed and see you next week <music>